<laughs> Zip yourself up, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Where's... No, I'm feeling They don't sell many black baby clothes. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> so are we. Yeah. Both there? Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, he is. No, 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 I gotta have this. Remember, I used to tell jokes one after another and after another. No. I'm 59, so the old memory, you know, it ain't what it used to be. So I had to Cut print this out so I didn't screw it up. I might get a little teary here. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, if it weren't for you, Chrissy and I probably wouldn't have gotten married. I might get teary. <laughs> <laughs> Because I didn't have the guts to ask her out, you made me. <laughs> so I thank you and my children thank you. I didn't teach them how to copulate, children. <laughs> I just went for a walk. I just went for a walk when we were camping when the uh, lantern was lit and means I could come back. Was over. <laughs> That's the truth. More information than they want to you know. Jim looks good at 60, I'm sure you all agree, and here's why. He told me that when he and Barb first got married, they made a pact. If she got mad at him, she agreed to go in the kitchen to cool off. And uh, in turn, Jim would go outside for a walk to settle down. <clears throat> That's why he looks so good all that time walking outdoors. <laughs> Dick, Dick, and Jim and I were discussing our different state, states of health last night. I told him I wake up at 7 o'clock, takes me about 20, 20 minutes to pee. <laughs> Jim says he wakes up at 8, has to grunt and groan for about a half hour to have a BM. <laughs> Dick said, no problem. At 7, 7.30 every day, he pisses like a racehorse, gets up, uh, he, he takes a big dump, no problem at all, and then he wakes up about 9. <laughs> <laughs> you all know Jim's quite a hunter. He was telling me last night about the... Uh, time in Africa several years ago he was hunting lions. After about three days and seeing nothing, he fell asleep near a log. All of a sudden he says, here comes this big lion. Roar! Jim says, I just shit my pants. I said, I can't blame you. I would do if I had come up behind me and did it. Jim says, no, I just shit my pants when I went, Roar! <laughs> Dick and Jim and Penny went to the doctor to see how sharp their minds were. The doctor says, okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. So he asked Jim, what's three times three? Jim says, 274. Dick, he says, how much is three times three? Dick said, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> then he asked Penny, what's three times three? Penny said, nine. The doctor asked her how she arrived at the answer. She said, simple. You just subtract 274 from two. Come on with nine. <laughs> Dick and Penny went on a trip just down the road. Penny said, oh shit, I forgot my, gla forgot my glasses back at the restaurant. <coughs> so Dick pissed and moaned and ragged on her all the way back. Let's go back. Let's go back and get him, god damn it. So Penny goes in and Dick says, while you're in there, you might as well pick up my hat, too. <laughs> <laughs> I heard when Jim and Barb go to the Burger King, they order one burger and one order of fries and two small Cokes. Jim divides the burger in half and also the fries so they can split it. Jim eats first and Barb watches. The fellow is watching them and offer to buy Bob her own meal. Barb explained, no, we've been, we've been married as long as we have. You split everything 50-50. Besides, she couldn't eat just yet. It's his turn to use the teeth for <laughs> Boys, remember uh, when you were younger and, uh, and you went to a wedding? 
people to poke you in the ribs and say, you're next, you're next. It's not so funny now that they do that at funerals, is it? Here's <laughs> 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 a few things that ponder uh, that you turn 60. When you turn 60, you actually like, like to be in crowds. Keeps you from falling down. <laughs> your knees buckle, but your belt won't. You realize all those geeky farts walking around Disney World dressed in Bermuda shorts include you. <laughs> you pack two bags for a trip. Your clothes go in the overnight bag, and your pills fill up the suitcase. <laughs> Things you buy now aren't likely, aren't likely to wear out before you die. In a hostage situation, you're probably going to be released first. <laughs> your secrets are safe with all your friends. Got it? They won't be able to remember them either. Your idea of a night out is to sit out on the porch. You and your teeth don't sleep together. Happy hour is a nap. Getting lucky means you found your car in the parking lot. <laughs> If you sink your teeth in a steak, they stay there. Uh, you go to smooth out the wrinkles in your socks only to discover you're not wearing any. <laughs> Jim, I heard uh, when you get to go, go get your Viagra, you have, yeah. it, you have it cut in three pieces. Just so it sticks out long enough you don't pee in your shoe. <laughs> you look for your glasses for a half hour and discover they're on your forehead all the time. Now, just in case you're feeling good about turning 60, here's something to think about. <sighs> Maybe you've already given it a thought and probably don't even realize it. We've probably, been, we've probably been camping together for over 30 years. Remember the first time that Chrissy and I came, we forgot our suitcase. <laughs> <clears throat> we could talk about, uh, for hours about, about the uh, old camping experiences. Then the kids started coming. Patrick's one of the oldest. His birthday was on the 25th but always gets overshadowed by yours. <laughs> here's, here's the point. <coughs> you were about his age when you started camping. Now he has a little daughter. Just think, you'll be almost 80. <laughs> and probably still selling houses. And old Dick will still be at the Blueberry Inn. <laughs> but by then it'll be called the Black and Blueberry Inn. When, uh, when little Ken Kennedy graduates from high school, and over 90 when she turns 30. Congratulations on both of you turning 60. Hope you have about 40 more. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm collecting veils. That's it. Put them in the car and we're ready to eat. Oh, here, Did you bring in the table?